Hello everybody, and welcome back to Vinny Adventures. I'm Vinny, and today we're venturing back into Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch. In the last episode, we finally arrived here at the Indol Praetorium. And we have an audience with the Praetor himself, but it is not until tomorrow, so we are kind of free to roam around the city until then. And I must say, this music that is playing in the background right now is absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's, it's choral music, like choirs or like people are, you know, it, people are singing. They're singing and it's just so heavenly and beautiful and like... Man, I used to be in choir when I was in high school. I actually went to college for musical theater, so I have a very musical background. And hearing this music is just really like, I, I just have been sitting here for like five minutes just, just listening to it. It's honestly beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. Um, but I do want to get, uh, oh yeah, we're in, we're in go, go eat to us, go eat to us. I don't know. I have no idea how to say that word. Um, let's talk to the first person here, I guess, which is Natua. And oh, oh, the Titan's head is right there. Ooh, or, or maybe that's a, is that like a wing or something? What is this Titan? I'll have to look on the map. This is the main entrance to Goituis, capital of the, oh gosh, it's the capital. And I'm going to have to say it a bunch, huh? Capital of the Praetorium of Indal. Let's hear the details. Ascend the steps you see before you to reach Siroris Plaza. Beyond the plaza lies the sanctum where the Praetor Amalthus himself offers prayers every day. Alright, so they're a very high, proud people here, I'm, I've decided. Um, this place looks like it just, they have no problems with money here, do they? I mean, this is, this is like, we are at the fanciest of fancy places. Oh my gosh, wait, another landmark, like, so close? So that's number one, and that's number two. So are these, like, docks, essentially, that I'll be able to, like, take different ships out to different places or something? That's that's weird, considering we have fast travel, so that's probably not what it is. But let's talk to Fadelico. Welcome to Indol. Whether it's sightseeing or shopping you're after, Indol has it all. Tensions are rising between Araya and Mor Ardain, but Indol is a safe haven. Oh, right. The sanctum where Praetor Amalthus resides is just up those steps. You'll probably want to tarry a while while in Poldar's, uh, Poldis Circle, though. You can get all kinds of Indoline specialties there. Alright, so is this area kind of where we're, like, like, this is it? Like, this guy is just a, like, I'll, I can sell him items and stuff. Oh my gosh. Wow, the cheapest thing you can sell as a set is worth 17000 That's insane. I wonder how quickly you can, like level up your um dev level with this town just doing this Thirty thousand, like that is nothing to sneeze at i'm gonna definitely be doing a lot of salvaging off camera tonight um here we got mal lucio welcome to go eat i need to i need to decide how i'm gonna pronounce this go go eat to us go go twa go go twi go twi i don't even know like it's gotta be i think it's like i it could be go twi I don't know, maybe they'll say it in a cutscene. Dang it! Ah, I need to know how to pronounce this word! The capital of the Praetorium of Indal. The people who live in peace and harmony thanks to the- uh, The people of Indal live in peace and harmony thanks to the teachings of Amalthus, our beloved Praetor. So everyone obviously loves the Praetor. Let's hear, hear the details. Perhaps the most important is the teaching that it is never too late for anyone, even criminals, to repent and live a good life. Maybe that's why he- maybe that's why he's Malos' driver. Maybe he's trying to turn Malos into a good- blade i don't know there's so you know i have a feeling that like the bit one of the big twists of this game i have a feeling is that malos is going to be revealed to not be such a bad guy that's what i have a feeling of anyway the belief that faith can save any soul and lead it down a brighter path is one i hold dear to my heart uh, i don't know like it depends on what you have your like what you put your faith in um i don't want to get too much into this discussion but i'm a person that i like to put my faith in 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 concrete things like like my friends and my family and people that I really feel like I can put like concrete faith into them um, But these these people seem like they believe in like some sort of a higher being and and like I don't know We'll we'll see how this progresses. I'm, I've always been really interested when games include religion um, In their storylines because I think it's always a really interesting and kind of risky um, ground to tread but I think I think 
both sides of the story can learn a lot from from having experiences through it. Uh, let's talk to Pastique. I'm on guard duty. Is something the matter? These goods are for distribution to the populace. Let's hear the details. There were thefts in the past. Good uh, goods being put on the black market. Are you quite all right? <laughs> You're making this like they they sound like. I don't know, they sound like this guy was, like, in, like, dire trouble because of this. Well, that's why I'm guarding them. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I think, I think our team, like, our party members just have basic generic things that they respond to quest text, and I think it's actually random sometimes how they respond. So that just felt like it really didn't fit there, but... Oh, we got shops. Alright, I want to look at some of these shops and see if they have, like, some good, like, cord chips and stuff for all my blades, and then I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so I've kind of run around and just kind of looked at the shops and stuff. I I sent out some more Merc missions and, and now I've noticed that like, I think we can go up there and that's where we're supposed to go. But there's like a bunch of people we can talk to back here too and possibly maybe even more shops. I just didn't want to come over here until I started like, you know, making sure that like you guys were seeing it again. So uh, anyway, let's talk to Daithi. He doesn't look like he's from here. Master Sephiron's preachings are always so inspiring. I'm glad I came all this way to listen. I... I think I can feel tears welling up in my eyes. So, like, we had to be tested before we could come here, right? Like, but these people are just being let in and oh my gosh, can we get a better look at this? Oh, wow! Wow, I... that is a very scary looking person. Like, very, very strange. Sephiron. I am preaching the teachings of Indal to all who are willing to listen. As long as there is breath in your body, it is never too late to make a better life for yourself. The preachings of Praetor Amalthus saved me from my own sin, and they can do the same for you. Now, let us pray together and build a brighter future. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. These people are, like, it kind of feels a little cultish over here. Oh, and I forgot to pot talk to this person over here. G, G and Luca? G and Luca. Hmm. Hmm. How should I go about carving from here? Something wrong? Oh, hello. My name's G and Luca, and I'm working on this sculpture. I started out determined to carve the finest sculpture in all of Allrest, but after 20 years, I still haven't finished it. Wow, 20 years? Holy crap. At this point, my life's goal is to finish this masterpiece before I die, but I'm so torn over how best to proceed. Wow, sounds like you have some decision issues in your life. Alright, we've discovered the refugee campground. Alright, so they have refugees here. This is very interesting. Um, let's talk to Natka. I fled to Indal and made my new life for myself here. How many years has it been now? I'd like to hear about the details. Rex, what about you? Yeah, same here. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I just like lost my voice for a second. That was weird. <clears throat> All right, get it together, get it together. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Interested, are you? There's not much to say. I get out of bed, get my rations, wander ar about for a bit, then sleep. Everyone blames Morardane for annexing Gormot and... Wait, are those blades with you? Those blades burned my house down, destroyed everything I loved. Down with blades! Down with them, I say! Oh my gosh, she turned on us real quickly. Ooh, they don't like blades here. Like, at all. Oh my god, but the Praetor himself has a blade, and it's Malos, and he is arguably the worst blade. Uh, we got a landmark fount of holy light. Man, that really threw me off guard. She went crazy! Like, oh my god, and they're swimming in the pot, or in the, the, <laughs> the fountain. That's, this, this is so, I don't know, guys, does this feel unsettling to any of you? It's so beautiful, it's so pristine, it's so perfect. People are being so nice, but something feels really sinister about this. Also, look at this, oh, we got a cracked wall back here, can I actually... Oh man, we don't have enough super strength. I don't even know if we have any earth mastery, to, to be honest. I wonder what would be in there if we could actually break through that. So... Ooh, the music started getting a little... Um, for those of you who do know uh, about music, when two notes are right on top of each other, like a half step basically, and you sing them together or you play them together, they create what is called dissonance. Um, when, it's usually when they're not a part of a chord, like a proper chord, they create a dissonant sound. And the sound got very dissonant there, and usually in music, they use dissonance as a way to 
convey that something has gone wrong, something has gone sour. Um, and it sounded just for a split second there that the choir went a little bit dissonant. So, oh man, I don't know, guys. I, I really don't know. This feels very strange to me. I feel like I can't trust what's happening here. There's, I don't know, like, I, oh man, I don't know, I don't know. This just feels weird. Um, let's talk to Dorid. Woohoo, I'm really raking it in today. Now this I have to hear. The Taurus at Milama Viewpoint toss their coins into the Cloud Sea, but some of them land around here. Tossing a coin is supposed to grant you a wish. Well, sure granted my wish to earn more money, that is. Oh my gosh. Uh, why don't you have a go-to? If you happen to throw it my way, I'll save it for a rainy day. Oh, little kid. Alright, we've got a storage area door here that I can't break open because, again, I don't have enough super strength. We've got someone here, Pastique. Didn't we already talk to Pastique? I thought we did, but maybe this is a new person because it's daytime now? Like, I actually don't know. I'm inspecting these goods. I would be interested to hear the details. They were provided by Praetor Amalthus. Really? For distribution to the populace. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Alright, so they're definitely building up. Praetor Amalthus to be this, like, really, really good person, but I don't know. I still feel really weird about this. Uh, cookie seller? Ooh! I want cookies! Um, hi there. Would you like to buy some cookies? They're all handmade by people from the camp here. We made them with honey, so they're super sweet. Personally, I'd recommend having one with a drink of Odifa. So what do you say? Uh, heart cookies recharges- uh, okay, well, I mean, I've seen better items, so we'll, we'll Maybe come back here when you have more to sell than just that. But for now, and oh, Yeneth Main Gate. Man, another landmark. There's literally a landmark right over there, like 40 yards, and there, like 40 yards, and here. Is that really necessary? Like, let's. I wanted to look at the the map anyway. Um, in the line Praetorium, which weirdly enough is actually positioned on the map before the Letherian Archipelago. Um, but it looks like we're on, like, a dragon of some sort, is what Indol is. Um, but yeah, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Landmark, landmark, landmark. Land- I mean, that- that one's fine. Like, up there, that's fine. But these three right here, they're so close to each other. Like, what is even the point? Um, I see some, like, there's, like, bread shops up here. I think these are actually- these items are called, like, something else. They're not bread. It's, it's like, basic goods or, I don't know, something like that. And then there's some meat. But I don't think I want to spend any more time looking at the shops. I think I am ready to just go ahead and see what this quest marker is going to bring me to. No more blades, no more war. What does that mean? That, my fuzzy-eared friend, is an anti-blade protest. The refugees have really been going at it since last year or so. Oh, where do you come from? What do you do? Swim, yeah? Did blades do something wrong? The Praetorium is single-handedly responsible for doling out core crystals to other countries. Though, sometimes the likes of Dougal and Banna grab a piece of the pie. Therefore, Indol has the power to control war itself? That's one way of looking at it. At least. But war is about much more than just blades and drivers. I know that, and you know that, but that doesn't mean they're gonna accept it. I guess so. There's a lot of... Gormotti here. They fled the Gormotti War ten years ago. But here they are, refugees still. Yes, they're a funny old lot, you know. We feed them, we water them, and this is the thanks we get. Don't these ruffians know that manners cost nothing? I swear, you lend these people a hand and they want the whole bloody arm. It's easy to disregard things beyond your control. And direct your anger at targets closer to hand. Hmm. Do you have something to say? Not really. Out with it, Rex. More ordains Titan. It's dying, and everybody knows it. That's why they... Why you need Gormot. 
Our population is large. Larger than Uriah's. But you don't have the resources to support all those people. You are astute for someone so young. Us salvagers pick up more than just artifacts. I'm not daft. I know fine words alone won't change reality. So you seek Elysium? Is that wrong? No. I was just reminded how young you are. Still, if it's Rex, or people who harp on about justice with no solutions, I'm betting on Rex. I must admit, I do respect the boy's drive. Ah. I'm just stumbling my way forward. Alright, we are at Polda Circle. I really like that Morag and Rex are kind of like... They're not going at it, but they're having conversations with each other. And it's it's really cool to see this side of Morag because we hadn't really seen it before up until this point. Um, but Rex makes like... I mean, everyone has made really good points. And like, you have to kind of feel bad for everybody. You You understand why... The war is happening, but you don't agree with it, you know? Like, you, you just wish that there was a way that everybody could get along and have the space and resources that they need. Like, more Ardane's Titan is dying, which I didn't really know um, up until this point. I don't think anyone had really mentioned it before, but that is why the, the war is going on, and maybe it explains why the Titan is, like, spewing that smoke everywhere. Like, I don't know, but man... Oh, we got more shops up here. Yay, I love more shops. I'll have to take a look at them later, though. I don't want to get too wrapped up in all of that right now. Um, I, let's let's talk to Sokol right here. Is something the matter? Just when I was enjoying a nice drink of Odifa from Cafe L uh, Lutino, they had to come along and spoil the mood. You saw them too, right? All those anti-Blade protesters. I mean, sure, blades are used for war, but it's not like they're the ones causing the conflict, are they? It's the Orion government they should be protesting to. If they surrender, that'd soon stop the fighting. So, the people of Indal, or at least this girl anyway, she thinks that Uriah is at fault. Um, which I guess is probably, like, a good thing to hear for, uh, for Morag here. But I don't know, like, I don't think it's that simple, guys. I, I really don't think it's that simple. There's, there's a lot more going around with this whole war that we don't know about yet. Uh, let's talk to Runashio. For many years, we have followed without question the path of the Praetor has decreed for us. But all these refugees... I mean, it's not the welcoming of the refugees itself that I object to exactly. Now this I have to hear. But the camp where they all currently reside, it used to be a beautiful plaza with fountains and... Well, look at it now. If only there were more land in Indal, we might be able to at least build them a, pr a proper houses to live in. I mean, maybe it was beautiful before, but, like, I don't know, like, ah, there's so many moral decisions here, I can't handle it, I need to run away! Uh, Vanta, what do you have to say? You look like a person who may not be from around here. Greetings! I heard that the streets of Indal are as beautiful as a work of art. I'm here from Araya for sightseeing. The sanctum is majestic, and the streets are laid out beautifully, but the refugee camp, well, I suppose there's not much that can be done about that. Despite all the help they get, they still say they're against blades? Perhaps they should consider moving on then. I mean, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, at least, like, it seems like they're being relatively peaceful about it. And a peaceful protest, like, I'm all for that, you know? Like, if you're against something, protest, but protest peacefully. Don't attack people, don't break things. That's all I, that, that's what I think anyway, but, um, ooh, we can go, like, all the way over here. Ha, <laughs> screw the main objective, I'm getting sidetracked for a moment. And my sidetracking has led me to Hollerick. Just take a look at this view. Isn't it spectacular? You can see the head of Indol so clearly. Standing here, I feel almost like I've become a bird gliding across the wide cloud sea below. You should try this too sometime, you know. Find a high point that juts out and toss some money into the clouds. Really? They say if you throw money into the cloud sea from high above, your wish will come true. I sure hope mine does. What's your wish, Hollerick? Why don't you let us know? Oh, this is a landmark. Uh, Milama Viewpoint. Oh, we actually can throw money here. No way. Uh, let's not be cheap. Let's throw... <laughs> let's throw 500G forcefully. The money disappeared into the cloud sea. Uh, well, I have 1.3 million, so let's throw it, uh, gently. 
The money, okay, it gently fell in. Hey there. Uh, wait. Wait, what? I can't throw any more money in? Whoa, what happened? Oh, I wonder if that little kid is down there and he, like, got our money. I wonder if I go down there and talk to him? If he'll, like, acknowledge that. Oh, that would actually be really funny. So I came down here and Dora doesn't have anything new to say, but I didn't talk to these kids over here. Like, Trebi, what do you have to say? 500G came falling from above! Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. I've seen careless Taurus miss the mark with 1G or 5G before, but a whole 500G? That's a first. Must have been some silly, Nobu rich Taurus who never do any exercise. Uh... <laughs> Though, of course, from where we're standing, they're basically gods. Dropping blessings of money from on high, literally. Even splitting it between us, I'll have enough to let my old man and my sister eat their fill for once. So thank you, whoever you are. Aw, I feel good. We did a good thing, I think. I don't know, I hope anyway. Alright guys, well I got my, uh, my fill of sidetrack. That was actually pretty cool that our money actually changed, like, the NPC dialogue of somebody. That, that was definitely cool, but I am ready to go ahead and go up this staircase now. Morag, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Rex is the one who woke up Mithra. And I think he appreciates what that means. And? It's just that, well, you're not doing anything to stop us. Why is that? Because of Adam. <laughs> 500 years ago, he became this great hero who we celebrate even today. But I know him only through legends. A chance to see what his blade is capable of for myself? I confess, I was intrigued. So here I am. You know I'm not Adam, right? But you are the Aegis's driver. The second you're under Imperial control, you won't be that hero anymore. Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure I follow. People with great power should be their own masters? Is that what you mean? Close enough. You can interpret it that way if you like. <laughs> Even the mighty Flamebringer can be bloody hard work sometimes. Can't you just admit the real reason? I don't like what you're implying. The inner Praetorium is beyond this gate. Here you will find the main administrative facilities. With your permission, I'll show you to your lodgings. This is Sioris Plaza. Wow, it's pretty huge. Busy, too. I dare say many people gather here on religious pilgrimages. Precisely correct. Many people arrive in Indal with each coming day, and the building you see ahead is the Indaline Sanctum. Impressive isn't half of it. How do you like it, eh? Really makes you appreciate the majesty of the Praetorium, right? Where do you get off sounding so proud, Shellhead? It's magnificent, truly magnificent. Rooms have already been made ready for you. You'll find them to the left as you enter the Sanctum. We get to stay in big, fancy building? You are, you are our honored guests here, after all. Quite amazing. Now then, shall we go? All right, landmark, Sioris Plaza West Gate. All right, we are the esteemed guests, which, believe it or not, does not make me feel very good. I still feel very weird. I feel like we're walking into a trap. Um, Olivial. Welcome to Sioris Plaza. This is a place of rest and recreation for the pu uh, recreation for the public. We also teach children about Indal's lore and traditions here. If you're headed for the Sanctum, head straight across to the other side of the plaza. It's always worth a visit. Oh man, guys, look at this place! This is a huge courtyard. 
Oh my gosh, it's massive, and it's it's very grand, isn't it? Ooh, it is very grand, and it is getting darker. Um, okay, maybe we should head on in then. Uh, Sears Plaza location. All right, let's talk to Oriette. Welcome to Sears Plaza, the heart of the Praetorium of Indal. The plaza is open to citizens and visitors alike as a place for rest and recrea recreation. I always want to say that word recreation. I don't know why. It's it's recreation. Um, I see. Some use it to practice singing holy songs, some to educate our younger citizens, some simply to sit and pray. All living together in harmony, as his eminence the Praetor has ordained. Alright, so I see a quest over here we can grab from Melica. Ah, who are you? Is something the matter? You're not one of the locals, thank goodness. My name is Melica. My mother was orphaned in the war, and she raised me here in Indal. So, although I'm Gormati, I've never actually been to Gormot. Lately, there's been something that's been bothering me. I feel like someone's spying on me all the time. I was accepted into the choir of Indal just recently, and I think that's when it started. Are you alright? Well, it's driving me a little crazy. That's not good. If you would be so kind, might I ask you to help me identify the culprit? Leave it to us. We'll sort everything out. Y you would? Really? Thanks so much! Um, maybe you could start by asking around among the locals. Just bring me up casually in conversation, see if anyone knows anything. I'm sure the culprit must be someone living in the city, otherwise I have no idea why they would. I'll be waiting right here, so please let me know if you find anything. Quest, Melica the Qua- The Chorister, the Chorister. Accepted. Alright, let's uh, not set that as active quest though. Alright, and over here we have uh, Fiona? Is that- is- oh my gosh, it's literally Fiona, but it's spelled all, like, fancy. Ah ha 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 ha! Finally I am here! The Indoline Sanctum, it's everything I imagined, one gigantic work of art! I told my husband in Argentum I had an important trade deal to negotiate. He'd never let me visit otherwise. Ah, I wonder how much the carvings on a single pillar here are worth. Oh, but that's the merchant in me talking. Silly me! You can't put a price on this kind of magnificent artwork. And we have another quest over here from Ronnie. Hey, can I ask you something? You're looking for info on that... Oh, so this is like part of the other quest, Choir Girl Melica? Hmm, sorry, I don't really know a lot about her. Maybe you should try asking that Orion girl, Albina. She's a refugee. She kept saying she was going to make it into the choir no matter what. But I haven't seen her around lately. Not, what sh not sure what she's up to. That's about all I know, I'm afraid. Oh, I see. I thank you. All right, she just like disappeared in thin air. Uh, so Surge is over here. Hey, could I ask you about something? Melica, what about her? I don't know that much about those fancy choir types, but I could tell you a bit about the choir itself. Apparently, once you join the Choir of Indal, you're basically set for life. I mean, it's an official branch of the Praetorium, so naturally they get special treatment. Us refugees don't get much in the way of opportunities, so lots of folks dream of joining up. Of course I didn't make it past the audition. My mom and dad were so disappointed. Anyway, that's about all the info I've got. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I don't know if neat would be the word that I used to describe that conversation, Nia, but sure. Okay guys, well, even though I know that this might be a little bit cliffhangery, I mean not really, but like, I have a feeling that once we go into that building, something big is gonna happen and it's gonna trigger a whole chain of events, and I feel like this episode is maybe a little bit on the long side, so I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay updated, and I will see you guys next time for more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. See you later!